All right, time for some solo gathering in the roads of Avalon. Mm -hmm. Let me pick up my extremely cheap 4.1 gear. Actually, I'm going to take a look at how much carry weight an ox has. 942 compared to the Saddled Viper. Okay, a tier 3 ox has more carry weight than a Saddled Wild Boar. So I'm optimistic that a tier 3 ox will be enough for what I'm planning to do. Oh, just need to quickly put away all my stuff. Probably got this stuff here still lying around, exactly. And the thing is, SBI said that in July the next update is coming, updating the roads of Avalon. So when this video is going live, it may already be the case that the changes to the roads have already happened. And I definitely love those changes that are coming. Uh, I don't think... Okay, the mist collar is not that expensive anymore, but I still want a torch. I still want more attack speed for this build. So... The update may already be live when this video here is going live. Oh, 4.1 should not be that terribly expensive. So, let's take a beautiful 4.1 excellent torch. Uh, do I need a bag? Not really, to be honest. Because I will be overweight anyways. If I lose my mount. Do I want journals? Probably not. Because my plan is to just... Pain farm, basically. It is possible that I will find something valuable. It is possible. But it's not guaranteed. I think I'll take some pork pie with me, just in case. Uh, roast pork, I mean. Just in case of me finding something that is rather difficult to kill. I don't really need potions. <laughs> I'll, I'll take some anyways. Let's let's take uh, gigantifying potions. Let's take two of those. And once again, like the last time that I've went for this thing, I will go into the blue zone and check out all the roads portals there. I'm not too concerned about my carry weight because I can just throw away all the tier 4 resources that I'm gathering because they are not worth any money at all. So, but I can potentially find some uh, tier 5 resources. Those will have some value, especially if it's hide. And if I'm lucky, I may find an old resource mob that is 4.3 and that will even be some really good money. It's kind of sad to have such low carry weight, but uh, not low carry weight, low gallop speed bonus. What is it? 75%. <laughs> I'm so insanely slow, but whatever. But with the upcoming update for the roads, I'm, it's going to be a little bit worse what I'm doing right now, I believe. Well, no, it's actually going to be better. This guy is valuable, but he also may be stronger than me. 4.2 stone, I definitely want that. That's good for leveling up. Let's go towards 
the big stack. Three people already. Seeing so many people so quickly. Hopefully there will be resources. Um, what was I about to say? The This strategy here may be a little bit worse when the update comes out. Because the uh, pain will be... reduce in the roads likewise me leveling up my solo pve gear not really solo pve gear more like uh, solo aspect gear to be honest it will take a little bit longer to level it up if i will receive less fame running around like this somebody was killed or oh, this may be a transport route i could loot this stuff i can also just not loot it doesn't really make a big difference i'm not going to find so too many souls so fame give me the fame this stuff should not be very valuable. 40 silver per piece. Any other 4.2 resource would actually give me money. But nonetheless, it's good for leveling up. This gives a lot of fame. I only have 450 learn points left. So I may need to think about stopping auto learn on some things. Because right now I have auto learn activated for all the gathering professions. Because the higher my level, the more gathering bonus I get and the faster I'm gathering resources. Likewise, I'm leveling faster. This run is only for fame farming purposes, basically. There is a chance that I will find something valuable, but this chance is relatively low. Even though I'm not 100% sure, I may find some old tier 5 resource mobs, which will, if I find multiple ones, will actually give me a decent amount of money, I would say. I think when I reach like 750k worth of loot in my inventory, I'm going to just teleport home. Teleporting will be very cheap. Because I will always be able to just go back into the blue zone and teleport there. And blue zone teleport costs are ridiculously low. I'm not sure if I want to leave one piece on this stack. But probably not. Probably not. If somebody sees me running around with 4.1 gear, they will probably not care too much. And hey... I already found something great. That's amazing for leveling up. And I do not need to change the raw spark for these mobs. They are too weak. I will not even need to use my armor, but I'm going to use it anyways, just to stay on higher health. Doesn't hurt to have a little bit more HP left. 5.1 height was worth almost 1k the last time I checked. Still 1.168. Pretty valuable. Considering that it's rather easily available, I would say. Especially in the black zone. There it's really easy to find such stuff. But... The last time I checked the price in Fort Sterling, it was more around like 900 silver per piece, 850 silver per piece. Well, not as crazy as it seems to be right here. Tier 5 height, also relatively solid considering how easy it is to get this stuff. But already finding some good stuff. This is exactly what I want. Even though... It 
yeah, yeah. Tier 5 resources are much better because they also give some money. And leveling up tier 5 gathering instead of tier 4 gathering is just better for the future. Because I'm not going to find very much tier 4 stuff in the future if I will go into the black zone. Uh, but while I will probably find quite a few 5.1, 5.2 resources, which are right now valuable, they may not be as valuable in the future, but 5.2 will most likely stay valuable. So it is actually relevant to have high tier 5 gathering, even though not extremely relevant, but it is very helpful. And from time to time I'm going to stumble upon some 5.3 sticks. So there it's definitely going to be very helpful to have plus 50% gathering bonus just from being high, just from being level 100 in the tier 5 gathering. Sadly, this always takes very, very, very long. 104 pieces are quite a lot. I was thinking about maybe taking journals with me. Tier 5 journals are not very expensive and... It would have given me some additional money. To be fair, I'm very... Very much in danger. Almost anybody can kill me when I'm doing this. But I'm hoping that not too many people will want to kill me because I'm just using a tier 3 ox. I don't have a cape. I'm just using 4.1 gear. I'm really not that insanely valuable. So I'm just hoping that people will not suspect me to have a 40k tool in my inventory. Even though having so many pork pies here, it's kind of not great. So maybe I want to hide my food. <laughs> maybe I want to hide my food. Because me, uh, somebody seeing me having four pork pies in my inventory may tell them that I may be a little bit more valuable than if I'm just looking like this. If I'm just garbage gear, garbage mount, garbage cape, two garbage potions. This could be a little bit better. Good players may decide not to kill me if I'm mounted up. They may even consider not killing me if I'm dismounted. But we'll see. We'll see how dangerous this is. Somebody died here already, but... Craig Moore, Marva George. Craig Moore should be Kalion. So this map is actually dangerous. So let's just hope that people don't care. Either about me or about the gathering areas. But tier 5 height is pretty good. Getting almost 100k just from one tiger. And I will be able to carry 5 times as much. So I may need to go back even while I don't even have 700k in my inventory. So actually this is a somewhat safe in the sense of uh, it doesn't matter if I die way of making money. I mean obviously not making money very quickly but running around with gear that's just worth, I don't know, 80k, 100k. 
being able to gather those tigers. One tiger already giving me 100% value comparing the money that I get from the loot to the items that I'm actually using. I, I want to run around the whole area because outside there can be old resource mobs. I'm also going to kill tigers. The only question is, do I want to kill other tier 5 resource mobs? Probably if they're not stone. It's going to be nice for leveling. And it's even going to be a little bit of money. Should be good enough. Also, I'm going to continue killing these random mobs here. Just to level up my gear. Avalonian energy, 5k per piece. It's your 5 area, that's great. Hopefully there are some old mobs. Yes, yes. Is there an enchanted one? That would be insane. No enchanted old mobs. Too bad, too bad. Enchanted old mobs would be really great. But all tier 4 mobs are... Really good for leveling. Those should have 200 pieces, I believe. They should have twice as much as tier 5 mobs. Looks like oh, 300 pieces. Oh god. That's so much. Oh, I'm getting two. Nice, nice. Two pieces per tick. That's really nice. That's really good. This is going to be very <laughs> rough for my learn points. Oh god. Do I want to use my learn points or do I want to turn it off? I'm not sure how I want to spend my learn points on this. Oh god. Probably don't want to. Let's let's take the auto learn off. If I accumulate too much learn points in the future, I will turn it back on, but I believe this will be too expensive. Leveling up to tier 7 when reaching the 20% threshold using learn points in a gathering profession costs 350 learn points leveling up to tier 6 costs 230 and I'm only at 419 learn points I think I'm going to spend my learn points for tier 5 gathering but not for tier 4 But this is actually so much fame. This is really good for leveling up. Right now I wouldn't even have enough learn points to get to to resource tier 6. Two, two, tier six gathering professions, which I do not have unlocked yet. I would not have enough learn points. This is a lot of fame, but no money at all. Twelve k, oh. 13k. I am going to reach 14k. Th 
300 pieces, 14k silver. <coughs> I think I think I'm just going to throw this stuff away. Depending on the situation, it's possible that I will find nothing else here. Then I may actually teleport and just immediately sell this garbage. But I'm also at Fort Sterling, so or will be even worse. Maybe not worse than what's shown here. But I I can imagine it being even worse than this, to be honest. I would really like to use learn points here. But I'm pretty sure that I'm going to need my learn points. Even though it's going to take quite a while until I actually reach the 20% threshold. But I also suspect that I'm going to find more uh, tier 5 resources and those. Tier 5 gathering professions are already going to cost a lot of learn points. Let's see if I'll get 1% towards tier 6 mining from one elemental. Which would mean I need to find 20 of those and then I'm able to upgrade to tier 6 mining. And 20 is not that much. It doesn't really take that insanely long. At this rate at least. To find 20 of those. It's probably like 4 runs or so. And I'm already a tier 6 gatherer. On all the, all the gathering professions. Potentially. Who knows. Who knows. The last times I went for this. Gathering fame farming style. I didn't find as much. It would be so good if this old elemental was enchanted. Even only 4.1 would already mean twice the amount of fame. Have I already checked the whole place around this? I don't think so, right? I think I went in here. I think I went into this area from the northwest. So I still need to run around the whole thing. Actually leveled up from killing this thing. I sadly didn't get 1% from mining one of those. They definitely do not give too much fame. Those tier 4 resources are really pretty damn bad. But I'm gathering them insanely quickly and the amounts of those are insanely high. Obviously. 312 pieces. Now I'm at 1%. So I will probably need like 25 of those to reach... Maybe, maybe like 22 to 25 to actually reach the 20% learning point threshold to get up to tier 6. I'm really looking forward to the roads patch in July. Because... They said they will reduce the gathering spots, increase the spawn rate there, which is very nice, meaning you will check less areas and you will find more. That's amazing. And there will be more PvE areas. So not only will you be more successful at finding stuff in the gathering areas, but you will also have more PvE to do. It's kind of interesting that they are going to reduce the fame, but they want to increase the loot, so that's okay, I would say. The only question is if they increase the amount of PvE spots, 
will they in general decrease the whole value of the PvE spots? I hope not. Considering that the PvE in the roads is extremely dangerous. Most of the time you will not even be able to keep your mount. Except for maybe green chests or something. But at like blue chests, you are not able to keep your mount most of the time. If you want to clear the whole thing. And so if a group comes, you will not be able to escape. Likewise, very dangerous, high risk. Likewise, I hope that they are not in general decreasing the value of all those chests. 800 pieces, 40k silver. 850 pieces, 40k silver. <laughs> and I actually do suspect that it's going to be even worth less in Fort Sterling. I mean, I could go to Kaleon and sell the tier 4 ore there, but I don't know if the price is actually good there. I don't know if anybody buys this kind of stuff there. Maybe, maybe somebody does. I don't exactly know how people are doing their crafting business. It is possible that somebody there likes to have tier 4 or I actually do not know what crafting bonuses there are in Kaleon. What are the crafting bonuses? Gathering gear, tools, war gloves, shapeshifter, bow, arcane stuff. I don't know if any of those... There were no crafting resources for ref, like refining, refining bonuses, right? There were no refining bonuses. At least I didn't see those. Or maybe I didn't read them. Farming yield bonus, refining bonus plus 18%, crafting bonus plus 18%. Just in general? Refining bonus, refining bonus plus 40%. So there's no specific refining bonus in Fort Sterling, I suppose, uh, in Kaleon. Likewise, people would want to refine stuff somewhere else. Likewise, this stuff should not be, should be less valuable in Kaleon. I already have some competition here. And I have some more competition. Fifty K. I mean I still have quite a lot of carry weight. So I can keep it in my inventory for now. Let's see if there's another animal. Does not look like it. Okay, I have checked out the hide area. I have checked out the ore area. So now it's wood and those three down there. And then I want to go back to Mava George. Mm, this way is faster. Hesitating too long will make everything worse, though. Oh, a mop. Time to level up my gear. While doing this mob, I kind of want to stay... Oh, well, actually, I should not stay away too far from my mount. Because I can always just use my helmet to block something. And then mount up as quickly as possible. So I do want to stay as close as possible to my mount.
I really need more levels on my gear. I mean, my armor is already basically maxed out. But the rest does really need some more love. Especially the weapon. There's a person. And this person is very valuable. The only question is, does he want to chase me? It looks like he's interested in killing me. Even though I'm just a 4.1 dude. Need to throw away this. I need to throw... Well, do I? How many people will they have in this map? Teleporting cost 60k. They actually want to kill me. No. My mount needs to regenerate somehow. No! Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't kill me! I'm overweight still. How am I? Ah, I have no bag. So I do want a 4.1 bag, I guess. I wonder... I wonder... Like, there, there was something... Um... There was a change where... If you throw away things... You, the people who kill you, can still loot them if it wasn't too long ago that you threw away the stuff. Mm. Pork pie, roast pork. Mm. Let's take a tier 2 cape. Because the cape really doesn't matter. I think I had some more stuff here. Soldier boots, exactly. Do I have another? Nope. Need to rebuy the rest. It is... Uh, like, if people want to kill me, they can definitely kill me when I run around like this. It is possible that they didn't have... Too many people, but I actually didn't saw the claw player. In the beginning, so it's possible that they actually had a lot of people. Pretty staff. The great thing is just, I'm not going to lose much money. Uh, tier 5, maybe? Nope. 4.1, definitely the least expensive. Boom. Uh, energy. Mercenary jacket. 4.1, super cheap. 5.0 is also very cheap. But actually, let's take the cheapest thing. Gosh. 4.1. Let's take an outstanding one, just to look less expensive. So, 
course, the difference between an outstanding 4.1 torch and an excellent 4.1 torch is really not that significant, let's be honest. 2.2k for this item, even though it's such an amazing item. But I mean, there are just better items, I guess. Um, Transport Ox. Oh, what else do I need? I need tools. I need a pickaxe. I need skinning knife. And I do need a stone hammer. Stone hammer being more expensive. Crazy. Okay, I regeared. I'm worth 172k silver. So I basically lost 172k silver. Was this the first time that I died while gathering? I think that that's the case. I'm not 100% sure. Have I already died before while gathering? Maybe in the roads or something? Not sure, not sure. These people sadly were not discouraged by my <laughs> worthless gear. They wanted to kill me nonetheless. I mean, I would do the same probably using their... Wait a second. Is this the same map? No, it's not. It's a different map, but it's looking exactly the same. It's just looking exactly the same. That's really funny. Well, let's see. And it's also tier 4. I mean, when they look the same, they are the same. Basically, I think, I'm not 100% sure, because there are such maps that are just looking the same. And they do have the same map level. But the question is, are all the gathering areas the same as well? This area is also the same as in the last roads map. So let's see if I can find some. What's it called? All tier 5 resource mobs. Let's see. I was really tanking, but maybe they simply didn't have very high levels. Ah, whatever. I mean... It really doesn't matter if I take this stuff or not. It really doesn't matter, I would say. I don't think I want to kill the tier 4 resource mobs. Like that. Even though it's a special mob. Meaning I gather it quicker. But I still don't think I want to do so. Let's walk around the whole thing one time. To see if there are any old resource mobs outside oh that's a mob i want the fame the fame should get worse in the future so actually quite the big incentive to fame farm as much as possible right now Theoretically, because right now the fame gain in the roads is insane. Mm, no old resource mobs outside, and there's a person. A solo healer on giant stack with pork pie. Oh. There are a lot of dead animals on the ground. Do I just want to gather 
do I just want to take this stuff? It is indeed something. But it is slow. Let's only take the dead bear. And then let's take a look at the at all the other areas. The last map I've seen two people who seem to be going for gathering like this. Here I've seen someone. That's not good. Too much competition. People want to level up quickly like this, I guess. Even though this Riddick stuff that I've just seen is relatively expensive with your 6 gear and the giant stack. He may lose quite a bit more money than me doing this. He should be worth like 400, 500, maybe 600k depending on what he has in his inventory. This is a tier 4 tiger. Uh, do I want to turn around? Yes, I do, because I want to check out the ore area. I don't think I want to kill these mobs. Not when they're tier 4. There was another... Another roads portal in this blue zone map. Mm -hmm. So I want to check out these three at the in the south first, because in the end I want to go back to Pengent. Maybe not. Maybe there's another blue zone map. That's three swamp. Where is that? The free swamp. That's a red zone. That's not that good. In the red, yellow, red and yellow zones, there are less roads portals per map. I generally want low tier maps and I want many roads portals. That's going to be the most efficient way. To find all tier 4 and tier 5 resource mobs in the roads, I believe. Especially after the update. This is definitely going to be the case after the update because they also want to basically guarantee it. 4.1 dude. He doesn't want to fight me. I mean, I've just lost my mount, so... He could've... Did he dismount there? In the... I mean, actually, it's quite a difficult matchup. Can't really win, I would say. Because I'm healing way too much. I mean, I probably should not be chasing him. Because I can't. <laughs> I simply can't. But there is no way he can win against me unless I play very badly. I can't chase him, he can't kill me. That's that's Albion. That's basically Albion. That's the same in every content, in 1v1s. This is just how 1v1s go in this game. Which is good. 
Either you're stronger, but you can't kill anybody, or you can chase down people. You can chase people down, but you can't win a straight up fight. Would of course be broken if some build was able to do everything. Then everybody would play exactly the same gear, which would be insanely boring, of course. 5.1 ore. 820 per piece. I mean, it should be less valuable in Fort Sterling. Because ore is just the main resource in Fort Sterling. There was some old tier 4 stone thing, I believe. There are quite a few people going for this kind of power leveling method. Let's say, it'll, let's call it that. I didn't even use my rose for the fight against this dude, but it's just not possible for him to win. It's just not possible. Oh, fame. And it's just not possible for me to get the kill. Unless he stays for too long. Which is very hard. Because it's really easy for him to get away from me. He does have more mobility and he has CC. He can root me. Basically impossible. If he's not extremely bad. What's that? That's exactly what I'm looking for. But somebody did not finish this. It's quite bad that somebody else is going for exactly the same thing. Though. Pengant. Two hideout maps. Finding a lot of ore. Oh, a big stack. 4.2 wood. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I want to go for it. It's such a long way. And I'll be fine. At wood gathering. And the stuff is really not going to be very valuable. I think I don't want to go there. It's so far away. And it's only 30 pieces. It's only 30 pieces. I think I'm skipping this. I'm really looking for better stuff. If it was 4.3 it would be a whole different story. If it had 300 pieces it would be a whole different story. But like this... Oh, oh, I do have a bag now. So after throwing away some things, I should be able to move. Uh, tier 5 wood, I don't think I want to take it like this. Maybe I do. It's really not valuable. And it's, mm, it's not that slow. Because I'm already tier 6 and I do have some levels. But... I probably don't want to take this stuff. I want to take everything else on tier 5 except stone, I think. I think I do want to take this. I would win the 1v1 against this guy. Did he find something crazy that he can't kill alone? Because our builds are of course really good. For killing something. I could switch to full heal. And we would be able to kill almost anything. 
looks like he wants to kill me. But he cannot win. He cannot win against me. Because I got more heal than him. <laughs> I got more heal. My armor is better. He actually died? He stayed for too long? Oh, he doesn't have boots, right? Uh, I'm not... I'm going to take this and throw away this. So I'll take that, I'll take this. And the rest is like whatever. I do have a better weapon now. <laughs> but I don't think I want to use it. Because I can do anything anyways. Uh, everything anyways. I don't really need this. <laughs> Too bad that his giant stack was destroyed. Too bad that the Muisek was destroyed. Giant stack would have been quite a nice amount of money. I didn't even have to use my boots. I didn't even have to use my helmet. You simply cannot win with a cleric rope against a mercenary jacket. Playing these items, playing this weapon. Impossible. Somebody took the big stack. I mean, if I was closer, I would also would also have taken this. But is this an old one? It's not. But it's already lying on the ground, so I'm going to take it. It's a special resource mob, so I gather it very quickly. Very nice that you wanted to fight. That's it's interesting. Also helps me uh, train how to use my abilities in PvP. And if I survive this run, I will have made 90k more. <laughs> oh, and there was a book, I think, right? So not only 90k, but... 105k more loot. Uh, anything interesting here? No, not really. How valuable is your 5? Fiber. 319. It's so cheap. But I probably want to take it for leveling purposes. I probably want to do so. I'm going to take 5.1 wood. Don't think I want to take 5.0 wood, except from old resource mobs, of course, because I'm gathering it twice as quickly, because they are special. They do give a bonus for the gathering speed. Let's see if I'm going to survive this time. Mm, the stuff that I need to throw away will be put down here, I think. Yeah. Oh, my food is going to be very heavy. What's the weight? 47 kilogram? Well, okay, I can carry over 100. Oh, I want to kill those, just for the fame. Just for the fame. I want to kill those. They are worth it. And it's something that I also want to throw away when I have to. Don't really want to throw away 5.1 ore. Kinda don't want. <laughs> kind of don't want to throw away tier 5 hide, but if I have to, then I'll have to. There is more fiber. No old resource mobs. Looks like the 
other druidic stuff, dude. Took it all. Mm. There's a person. I do remember this name. Oh, this is a guy who I killed. Maybe he wants to fight me again? He has an invisibility potion. He does have the correct... So I do need to throw away this stuff, so I'm not overweight. I do want to eat my food. I definitely want to fight him. <laughs> and I want to gather 5.2 wood. He's very valuable, but now I cannot kill him. Now I cannot kill him. But he does want to fight me. Okay. He dodged the damage. Kiting. I need to kite. And I want to block this. But I actually want to heal. And I want to use my boots to chase him down. Because he's quite valuable, I definitely want the kill. <laughs> I like it, I like it. It's, it's nice that he tried again. <laughs> uh, wait, I want to eat first before I mount up. Okay, okay. By the way, you really, you really cannot win with a sword against this build. It is not possible. Okay, like it's, it's really not possible. You can't do it. Not, not winnable. Impossible. Mm, anything else? No. And now I'm done with this map, but now I'm evil. Now I'm, now I'm outlaw. Because I killed him. Oh well. Well, not a problem. But kind of funny that he tried again. If he, if he picked a good 1v1 build, like, I mean, those swords are not terrible in 1v1, but if he took a good 1v1 build that has a chance against nature staffs, then I probably would not have fought him. If he was like a cursed or a fire or a frost or whatever. Even though a frost would probably have some real problems. Because Frost also want to kite, and kiting versus kiting means nobody wins. And me having heal means I win pretty much over time. Because I'm going to heal up again, and he's not. Oh, I want to switch back to my worthless weapon. 60k? Uh, Pengant, so I want to stand somewhere else. I've checked the whole map. How long am I evil for? 40 seconds. Well... I think I'm going to go back to town quickly, put away the loot. Because it's not really going to cost me too much to do so. And then I will have made my money back.
of what I've lost so far. The 160k or so that I'm worth with this garbage gear. And I will be able to take more food with me. Yeah, I'll take one more roast pork with me. I've only been in two maps. And then those two maps were identical. Even. Didn't find much in this one though. I'm really not that far away from town, but I think I want to teleport, because 2,000 silver are absolutely nothing. If me teleporting now means I find one hidden treasure more in the roads, then it's worth it to teleport right now. 4 out of 7, the other map. Okay. Let's quickly put away the loot. And take one more roast pork. Well, okay, 4.1 wood, that's something that I'm not going to sell. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm not 100% sure if I would actually lose to a cursed. Kinda depends on if he plays soldier boots, basically. And if it's a curse that can perch. He definitely needs perch from armor. And he def definitely doesn't want to be a one hand cursed, because I've got the helmet. Oh, 4.2. How valuable is that? 1k? Nice. Nice. That's actually a very solid resource. I'll take 4.1. I'll take 4.1 for the leveling. And I'm going to put all the garbage things down here so I can throw them away if I need to. Because I'm using a transport ox. I don't have that much carry weight. And now I have such an expensive bag. Because I killed the dude. Fifty percent more expensive. Not as much gathering stuff here. Well, why am I going to the green chest? I guess out of habit, Dooley Fen may be a place that I would want to check out. Not 100% sure though. Let's take a look. Dooley Fen is where? Your four map. That's not bad. I think I'll go there. Yes, I will. I will indeed go there. It's very far away from the cities, which is great. Because I want as little competition as possible, of course. Oh, tier 6 wood. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's quickly take it. It's not going to hurt. Considering that your 6 wood is actually a valuable resource right now, I probably will also kill old tier 6 uh, resource mobs, even though they are quite strong and takes quite long to kill them, but the resources are quite fine. No, somebody is in this map. That's not good. Or should I say that's actually bad? 
But let's see what this area here has to offer. Tier 6 fiber. I could be gathering this stuff, but it would take forever. Would I want to take tier 6 fiber resource mobs? How long does it take to get one? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Quite valuable. When there are the six fiber resource mobs, I'll probably take those, but doing it like this is just so painfully slow. So tier six and tier five. That's that's what it seems like. That is most definitely what it's looking like. Tier six wood, good good stuff. Let's quickly take it. I'm already nine percent towards tier towards being a tier seven lumberjack. Not too bad. Sadly, no mobs in here. No beautiful old resource mobs. Uh, 4.2 fiber is fine. I do want that. Actually, a solid resource. Actually, solid fame, solid money. I do indeed want it. It may be cheaper on the market, to be honest. But it shouldn't be terribly much cheaper. It shouldn't be too cheap. Even if it's worth 600 silver per piece, it's going to be worth it. Do I want to look at the green chest? I'm so close, and if it's purple or golden, then I probably want to do it. But it's not even here. And I don't want to go deeper. I just want to check out more maps like this. Because I can't gather all the tier 8 stuff anyways. I just want low level maps. I just want to level up. Adept Fiber Gatherer. Not even at 1% towards being a tier 6 harvester. Do Lee Fan please have another Rhodes Portal? The chances are very high because it's a blue zone. But it's also possible to not have a Second Rhodes Portal. Oh, it's your three mob. Please die. Can I pull anything in here so he loses? Can I? No. Oh, it's your three mob. I mean, it would not have been too crazy because it's just the blue zone, but I still, of course, wanted it. If I was here a little bit earlier, I would have gotten it. Too bad, too bad. And also unlucky that there were no mobs nearby. Because I could have pulled the mobs into his AoE stuff. Then he would have gotten the aggro of those mobs. And then maybe he would not have been able to win the fight. This is a legendary solo dungeon, right? It's orange. Am I getting overweight now? Probably, right? I don't have too much stuff in my inventory. I'm at 52% carry weight. 84% stronger. Solo dungeon. How much silver am I going to get? This is a blue zone. 174 silver. A legendary dungeon, eh? 
So it's it's a tier eight dungeon then? No purple would be tier wait a minute, tier four map, right? Yeah, tier four map. So this is a tier eight dungeon and the dungeon is gone. Maybe somebody checked it. Whatever. Solo dungeons in the blue zone are not worth thinking about. <laughs> it's just not worth it to spend any time thinking about them. And it just isn't. Okay. Roads. Gathering area, gathering area. Blue chest. I, pr I probably want to kill the three wandering mobs in there. For the fame. I probably want to do so. And if it's a purple chest, I probably just want to do the chest, I guess. Five gathering areas. There's this. There is tier 5. Fiber. There is a tier 6. Special resource mob. In an old version. It is indeed quite a bit stronger. I do indeed want to use some spells. Let's let's try to count how long I take for one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Gathering this stuff. Twice as fast. Twice as fast. And this stuff is actually worth some money. So really nice. It's just sad that I'm not leveling up two things at the same time. That's a little bit sad. But this should be nice. This stuff also gives quite a lot of fame. Like one piece without gathering bonus already gives 67 fame. Well, one tier 4, or rather two tier 4 pieces only give 20. So it's definitely worth it, even fame-wise, to go for this. And additionally, it's getting giving me money. It's actually giving me some money. Definitely, definitely something that I do not really want to throw away. But if I have to, I'll have to do so. What can you do? Surviving is still better than dying. Six point one. I wonder how expensive that stuff is. Uh, do I want to kill the wolf for this? Probably not. Tier five fiber is something I'm going to throw away first. Open two. That's also something I don't really want to throw away. It's also uh, not as heavy. Has some tier six stuff, and it's. But of course, it's also not exactly as valuable. Probably very similar in the money to. What's it called? Money to weight ratio. Should be very similar. Should be uh, half as valuable and half as, not half as valuable. A little bit more, like seventy percent as valuable, and half as heavy. So in the end, very similar, but a little bit better. If I can trust the prices, which maybe I cannot. I'm not sure. Hmm. Deeper, deeper, deeper. Rowan wood. Rowan wood is the yellow zone, I believe. So I probably prefer to 
just go back to do leaf fan to leaf fan curl curl you curfew curl you curl you <laughs> those names fan yeah that's the way i want to go so i'll check out everything i'll see if there's some stuff here there's nothing Just nothing. Let's check out these three, and then the stone, and then go back. And then go deeper into the blue zone. Mm -mm. Dying once. Escaping once? No, somebody escaped from me once. And killing twice, but the same person. Mm. Didn't expect as much PvP as I've actually had right now. Did not really expect it. I did get more than 1% for tier 6 mining so far. I think I got a little bit of stuff for skinning as well. But in general, besides the start, I haven't found too much stuff so far. I've seen a lot of competition. Hmm. Right now I'm thinking about who actually wins a 1v1 against this build. Stone stack. Sure, give me the fame. Who wins a 1v1 against this build? Probably a lot of people who use uh, Wanderlust. I would believe. And have a perch for my armor. Or just invulnerability or something, I don't know. To block the heal. Because the heal is pretty annoying. 94 health, 7 times. That's 700 health. Really makes me a lot tankier. Makes it possible for me to cast my E twice in a fight. Which is another 800 tell. I'm really tanky. I'm also using a leather armor, so... I'm generally quite tanky. Compared to somebody using cloth. Maybe I would want to have the one rose pork equipped just in case of one invisibility gank. But having one rose pork equipped while having one meat pie running would tell better players that I'm not a bad player. So that may not be good. It's always good for. Your opponents to underestimate you. I mean, I'm using 4.1 gear and I killed the guy with tier 6 gear twice. It's always really good for other people to underestimate you in such full PvP games. There are, of course, other situations where it's good for other people to estimate you well. Mm, stone, stone. I should check how expensive tier 6 stone is right now. That's quite interesting. 
That is quite interesting. Maybe it's well valuable right now. Who knows? But I'm pretty sure that tier 7 stun will be worth it. Uh, I have been in the wood area, I haven't been in the fiber yet, and the other wood. And the stone is also missing still. Theoretically I could have just taken it later, so I don't have to walk this way three times. Maybe that would have been better, I mean 4.2 will not be very contested. This is exactly the right kind of area, but there uh, are simply no old resource mobs, which is very sad. Very, very sad. Do I have money? Not really. Didn't really find anything valuable. So far I made more money from PvP than from gathering. I believe. Did I? Yeah, I think so. Even counting in the 100k that I've lost when getting ganged. I think I still made more money from PvP. I'm generally not 100% sure how profitable this can be. I mean, the roads could be quite profitable if you have tier 8 gathering. I'm not sure if that's still the case, because I've seen people being able to gather tier 8 resources already. I don't know how many those are, though. I do not know. Shouldn't be too many, but there should be some. Well, there are definitely some. But I wonder how many they are. Because it's taking quite a while, but if you're like... If you're dedicated and if you play enough, then you will reach it and not too... Too much of time doesn't take insanely long you, if you just spend some time you'll reach it somewhat somewhat quickly I would believe right now I would not have enough learn points to actually push through to tier 8 Oh, by one, it's it's fame, it's fame. Let's take it, and let's look at the price. Actually, I, uh, height is interesting. One hundred fifty-seven. Yeah, something to throw away. Mm. And then back to the stone area. I'll go another way, and then back to Dooley Fan. Those resources. I mean, leveling up all the gathering professions at once. Wait a second. That is tier 4. Yeah. Don't want to spend learn points on this. I probably also don't want to spend learn points on tier 5. I probably don't. To be perfectly honest. Because... Oh well, it's going to take very long to reach these things. It's going to take very long. Ah, still, nonetheless, I I think I don't want to. Because the five resources are going to become very bad very soon, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know. Exactly. 
But for example, tier 5 wood is already terrible. That's nothing that I can gather to actually make a decent amount of money. While tier 6 resources should always be good enough, I would think, to make like 1 to 2 million per hour. Or rather 1.5 to 2 million per hour, if you choose the right maps. With always having the chance to just make more if you find like two full stacks of 6.3 or something. Or get one big stack or whatever. Of 5.3, 4.3, 6 so I probably wanna already stop spending learn points on tier 5. Even though I'm not 100% sure how long it's actually going to take me to reach any of those learning point thresholds. Because it may actually take quite a long time. 2500, so... Well, in the tier 6 map, I, I got uh, 4500 silver for hidden treasure. Almost twice as much. Almost twice as much for two levels higher, so I... But if I remember correctly, this pretty much fits. I think I got 10k silver in tier 8 maps from hidden treasures. Probably fits. <laughs> Depending on how long stuff is going to take me. I may want to spend learn points on tier 5. I believe it's going to take me very long. It's not going to take me very long for wood. But then the question will become... I mean, I will test going for tier 8 wood gathering in general. Once I hit it. I will check it out. Oh, yes, yes, perfect. That's so much fame. It's basically <laughs> for the resource that I wanted the least. But on the other hand, I'm also get going to gather it the fastest, which is great. Which is great. Hopefully it's not going to lose its enchantment. But the chance for that is quite low. Because it's really not taking me too long. I mean, there's also the chance of me getting chased away from here. Bullied away. I do want to eat pork pie. To get more. Fame. Already on 10%. Already on 10%. I may want to... Focus on getting... Hide and Stone to tier 6 first. Before going for tier 8 wood. I may want to do that, so I can benefit more from the maps that I'm in. Not 100% sure though. Because still the main loot should come from the tier 6 wood that I will find, I believe. How valuable is 4.1 wood? 96 per piece. That's so bad. 5.1 stone. 237. Pretty bad. But that's only half of... No, no, it's really bad. It's really bad.
Level 14 on tier 4 wood. Level 43 on tier 5 wood. Hmm. Let's see if I'll get 1% towards tier 7. Tier 6 to tier 7 is of course harder than tier 5 to tier 6, but... This is also 4.1, so it gives twice as much fame as the all tier 4 resource mobs that I've taken already. It does give quite a lot more. To be precise, twice as much. So maybe I'll get 1%. I'm actually expecting to get 1%, but maybe that's not realistic. A million, 500. Okay, so it also takes uh, twice as much fame to reach tier 7. So is it 2 million for tier 8 then? It's not. What? What? Only 166, 666, 7. Blah, 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 thousand more. Interesting. So tier, getting tier 8 is just as hard as getting tier 7. Except that it's not because when you're tier 7 you gather faster. You get more gathering bonus, likewise. It's actually probably easier to not easier but faster to get tier 8 than tier 7 very interesting very 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 interesting and very nice to find an enchanted all tier former tons of fame tons of fame 548 pieces so oh, 4.1 resources That is fame. Give me that fame. Fifty K for five hundred forty pieces. It's so rough. It's so bad. It's so funny. But that's just the blue zone, I guess. Just the blue zone. Why do I have this up here? This stuff is also going to get thrown away. If I have to. One piece of 5.1 wood. How the hell did this happen? How the hell? Do leave fan. Do leave and okay very close to getting to the next map and the next map is also a tier 4 blue zone so very high chance to have more than one roads portal let's take a look i definitely still easily have enough food with me Six out of seven, six out of seven. There are people entering the roads from here. Well, I'm not that far away now. Where the hell was I? I do leave. Fog fan would have been good. Um, uh, yeah, the fog fan would have been better. It would have been better. Now I'm only one map apart. From the entrance to Martlock. I was hoping that I would be further away. Uh, 4.1, it's fame, let's take it. It's quick. It's definitely no money. 
but I'm running around to level up right now. I'm already at 1%. I am. Interesting. It didn't? Wait a second. There's absolutely nothing here. Absolutely no gathering areas. Okay. Turn back. Take a look at Heroes Luarum. Oh, so much 4.1. Give me the gathering fame. Tier 4. I don't have enough learn points for this stuff. I do need my learn points for the more expensive stuff. Did I turn off tier 5 as well? I believe I did, right? I did turn off tier 5 as well, yeah. I'm too low on learn points. Not doable. I am going to need my learn points. Because I... I'm pretty sure that I want to spend learn points on the tier 6 gathering. I want to reach level 100 on tier 6 gathering as quickly as possible. But I also want to reach tier 8 as quickly as possible. Because that's also a very big bonus already. Gathering everything much faster. Oh, I'm gathering the wrong thing. Okay, now I'm just stuck. Oh, I'm gathering it quickly enough? Am I? I am, nice. I can actually gather this stuff. I mean, those, those weird lizards maybe have uh, lower attack speed than some other mobs, maybe, maybe those resource elementals, for example, attack faster, I'm not sure, but it's definitely very handy to be able to gather resources while some kinds of mobs are attacking. A tier 5 map, wait a second, I do wanna Take those dryads. I do want to gather this. Forty one percent carry weight, absolutely no money in my inventory. But I did get something for sure. But since it's split up to multiple professions, it definitely doesn't feel like much when I'm seeing these numbers. 1% here, 1% there. I think I got 1% for fiber, I got 2% for mining, or maybe not completely. Maybe a little bit less than 2%. But very close to 2% definitely. For mining. I did get 1% for... Uh, cutting wood. Which is more, because I need... Uh, twice as much fame there. Because it's already going for tier 7. I did... I'm not sure if I got anything for skinning. I mean, I know that I've taken some hide, but I don't know how much um, aim that was. I do not know. There's a person. Uh, that's quite bad. I do need to throw away this garbage here. <laughs> well, 
I mean, okay, I would not have gotten out of there when there are this many people. Could I have fought them? Probably not. They do have too much mobility, bear paws and stuff. So even if I was... How, how, I, how was I too slow to mount up? I'm, I'm actually going to look at, into the replay. I will look at the recording and see why I was too slow to mount up. Because it, I would believe that I would have survived there in case of not them having more people here coming from the northeast. Because I would have just mounted up and went to the exit curlew fan. I believe I would have survived in case of them only being three people. It's very, very possible that they have more. It's definitely possible. I believe Dust Tree Swamp is a red zone close to Kaleon. So definitely possible that there's just a ganking group of more than three people. And I would hope for them that they are, when they are this insanely weak, that they have more than three people. Those fighting groups would kill them. Um... But I will look at the replay why I was so slow to mount up. It was really weird. I had a lot of time. I saw this person quite early. He missed his E. It's really weird that I wasn't able to mount up. Oh well. I guess I'm going to end it here right now. I invested basically 160k into my gear twice. I got 450k loot. I will probably have repair costs of like 30k silver or so. So I'm actually not uh, I'm I'm not in the minus. I didn't lose money, but I definitely didn't make money considering that I ran around for one hundred uh, for one hour and forty minutes. But theoretically, it's possible if I to make money if I find the uh, old resource mob that's four point two. That's going to give me like three hundred k. It's going to give me more because I have premium bonus, so plus 50%. So I would guess 400k if it's really worth 1k per piece, which may be less. So let's let's estimate it. Let's estimate it around like 300k per old 4.2 mob. If it's high, then it's going to be worth almost twice as much. If I find an old 4.3 mob, which is basically going to happen never. It only has happened once in my life. So that's not really a possibility, to be honest. But 5.2 old resource mobs will also give me like maybe 200, 300, 400, 500k, depending on the mob and stuff. So there is some potential to make some money. And if I do it often enough, then there will be runs, there will be times where I will make money, I guess. But I also found a lot of PvP, it's relatively dangerous. But the first map and the last map probably were transport routes. So it's definitely possible to dodge those. But I of course don't want to avoid those maps because I'm just super cheap and I'm just going for maximum fame right now. Probably going to be different in the future though.